And it's raining again. Due to flooding around the state and having leaks of our own, we thought we would do a breakdown video of what everything cost us to date, the average cost of one of our trips, and our future plans for the Fortuna. So, let's get into it. Currently, a Fortuna costs from about $55,000 for the base model up to $70,000 for the Crusade model. Ours is a mid-range GXL that we bought new three years ago for $55,000 that included a few optional extras like roof racks, tow pack, leather interior, car mats and a protective pet mat for our big puppy. We already had a bit of equipment from previous four-wheel drives including DC to DC converter, snatch straps, shackles, chainsaw, 120 amp hour battery, although this wouldn't fit in the engine bay so we needed to buy a 70 amp hour battery that would fit, air compressor, tire deflator slash gauge, recovery hitch, tools to work on the car if needed, first aid kit, various jacks, 240 volt inverter, portable UHF radios and a small fridge. We unfortunately don't have all the prices for these items as many were purchased a long time ago. However, you would be looking in the range of two to five thousand dollars depending on brands and the size you require. Size can be important in some cases. We don't carry all the equipment with us all the time. Even though we go solo a lot of the time, we like to carry shackles and straps with us in case we get stuck and someone who doesn't have this equipment drives by. It just might be the difference between getting pulled out or remaining stuck. We also go through a set of recovery tracks every year or so. And if you listened carefully to our last video, you can hear the moment we broke them. We have gone back to Max Tracks, not sponsored, as we find they do last a bit longer than other brands, although they do cost a bit more. The two sets we just purchased cost us $240 each. They were on special, bringing the total to $480 for four tracks. Well worth the investment in our opinion. Adding the second battery to the engine bay was a tight fit, but doable. While adding the second battery, we also added an accessory fuse box, Anderson plug, and permanent 12 volt charging points inside the cab, so we can always charge phones, camera batteries, and run the fridge even when the car is off. Next, we installed a trailer brake. This is so we can tow a camper trailer that we use when going places for a while plus any other towing of heavy trailers that we do from time to time. You can pick up a trailer brake kit for about three to four hundred and they are quite simple to install. This coming from my partner who is an electrician. However, if you plan on getting someone else to install it, allow approximately four hours worth of labor. Our latest upgrade is the BF Goodrich KO2 and the Dynamic Black Steel Rims. Everyone loves a nice rim and I think these look amazing. We opted for steel rims as they could be beaten into submission if they get damaged, unlike the originals that we wouldn't be able to fix in the middle of nowhere. These have changed the tyre profile from 265-65R17 to 265-70R17, which in layman's terms means that it has lifted the car approximately 2.5 centimetres or an inch for those playing along overseas. This was the biggest tyre we could fit without extra modifications and while keeping the car legal. Despite only having these on the car for less than a day, we couldn't help but take them out on a track to see how they went. We will give our honest review in the next video. The new tyres, tyre balance, alignment, rims, caps and nuts cost us just under $2,500. So before we go into average trip cost and future plans, the total that we spent to date to get the Fortuna to where it is, is approximately $63,000 give or take a little. Future plans for the Fortuna include a snorkel, bull bar, winch, possibly a long range fuel tank, tradie roof rack, lift kit, driving lights, in cab UHF, rooftop awning and different mirrors. Let us know if you think we are missing something. We are very aware of weight limitations and keeping the car within GVM and this may dictate what we do. We are trying to go for what we deem essential for the type of driving we do. For this, we estimate that it will add another $15,000 or so, thus why we are doing our research and taking our time to ensure we only get the things we will get use out of. So 
Despite this being a costly hobby to set up, you can actually get away with spending a lot less, depending on the type of vehicle you have and the type of driving you want to do. The Fortuna is a very capable vehicle straight off the shelf and has been very reliable for us. Now that we have gone over all the setup costs and wish list, what does an average outing cost us? The Fortuna's fuel tank holds 80 litres of diesel. This used to cost us approximately $75 to fill up from empty. However, due to current prices, it now costs us double, with our last tank costing us $150. The Fortuna is fairly fuel efficient. However, we need to see how the new tyres change this. And when towing or loaded with people or equipment, the fuel economy can go down. We always start our trip with a coffee, so that's about $10 there. Snacks, roughly $20 lunch about $30 and we always finish the trip with a rinse off at the car wash which is about $13. That gets most but not all of the dirt off. A complete day of four-wheel driving fun normally costs us between $120 to $200 which in our opinion is a fairly inexpensive day for the enjoyment and memories considering it doesn't matter if it's just two of us in the car or if we have it loaded with people which is sometimes the case. If we stay overnight or even a few nights somewhere, the price per day goes down and the biggest expense is the travel to and from and we try to free camp wherever we go. Let us know if there is something we missed or something else you would like to know as we will try to be as detailed and transparent with cost as possible. A like, comment and subscribe will be a great help to us. Thanks for watching. Good news, the tracks are open again. Bad news.